Greetings and welcome back to another edition of the End Time Watchman. And uh, the title of the program today is Be Fully Awake Always. Be fully awake always. The Lord is telling us here to always be awake and alert and not to ever fall asleep. The obvious thought that comes to mind is, but that is impossible. And that would be true if he was talking in the physical sense. But fortunately, he is not. He is actually saying that we must be spiritually awake at all times. God is reminding us that uh, because time is so short and fast uh, running out, that is, it is imperative for us to be spiritually awake and alert if we are to be ready when he comes to rapture his church. But what? What does it mean to be spiritually awake? To be spiritually awake is to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God, uh, following his lead at all times and seeking after God daily, separating yourself from the world and the things of the world. Now, however, that this separation is, is more spiritual than it is physical as the latter would be impossible. So in other words, we should be more spiritually minded and focused than we are physically minded and focused. In the book of Matthew chapter uh, six, it tells us to pursue God and to live right. And God will then take care of all of our physical needs. To be awake means that you are aware of your surroundings at all times and can see what is happening when it is happening. The one that is asleep is totally unaware of his or her surroundings and uh, can easily be, be stolen from, can easily be killed and easily be destroyed. And not only are we fully aware when we are awake, but God promises that we will always have the light of Christ uh, to help us see clearly. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 14 says, For the light makes everything visible. This is why it is said, Awake, O sleeper, rise up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The main reason why uh, it is so dangerous to fall asleep even for a second is because we do not know exactly what year, what month, what day, nor what hour that the Lord will give his shout to come up hither. In fact, Jesus himself said in the book of Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15, he says, look, I will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Blessed are all who are watching for me, who keep their clothing ready so they will not have to walk around naked and ashamed. In other words, stay awake and alert so that you will be ready when that time comes unannounced. A good lesson about staying spiritually ready can be found in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 1 through uh, to 13. And it's about the ten virgins who were waiting for the bridegroom to come. That uh, passage explains that five of them were foolish, or we could say spiritually sleeping. The other five were considered to be wise because they were spiritually and fully awake and prepared at all times. Though they all eventually fell asleep physically, the wise ones were fully awake and alert, ready to go at a moment's, uh, a moment's notice. They were ready because uh, they had extra oil for their lamps to top it up when needed. 
The oil mentioned is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus is saying from the book of Matthew chapter 25 and verse 13, he says, So you too must keep watch, for you do not know the day or hour of my return. And 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 6 also says, So be on your guard, not asleep like the others. Stay alert and be clear-minded. We have a formidable adversary who is, who is hell-bent on our destruction. That is what he's all about. Scripture sternly warns us, in uh, 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, he says, Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And those that are spiritually asleep will be easy prey. Those that are worldly, uh, worldly minded, focused on themselves, and the things that they desire in this world, those that are too busy for God and the things of God, those that appear and pretend to be godly but reject the Spirit of God and His leading, they are the ones that the enemy will keep grounded when the rapture happens. But you, you do not have to be one of them. Luke chapter 21 verses 34 to 36 says, Watch out! Don't let your hearts be dulled by carousing and drunkenness and by the worries of this life. Don't let that day catch you unaware like a trap. For that day will come upon everyone living on uh, the earth. Keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors and stand before the Son of Man. All you need to do is to stay fully awake always by a full surrender to God and the leading of His Holy Spirit. Make that vitally important decision today so that you can always be ready for the soon coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you're watching or listening to this program today and you have not yet even received Jesus Christ into your heart as Lord and the Savior, don't let this opportunity right now pass you by. If you'd like to make a decision for Christ now, stay tuned for the next few minutes uh, while I explain a bit more about receiving salvation in a pre-recorded clip. At the end of uh, this clip, you will be given the opportunity to say a short prayer of repentance with me, one that will lead you to receiving your salvation through Jesus Christ. Stay tuned. Before I go, I would like to share with you the good news. The good news that you can be saved today from eternal destruction and given eternal life through Jesus Christ. He himself already paid the, the high and necessary price uh, for our salvation. So all we need to do is to ask him for it and accept it as a free gift. Why do I need salvation, you may ask? The simple answer is because we are all sinners. We were born and shaped in sin. Romans chapter 3 verses 10 it tells us, as the scriptures say, no one is righteous, not even one. And Romans chapter 3 verse 23 tells us why. It says, for everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. So left to us, we would all perish. 
But Romans chapter 5 verses 8 tells us, But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. So because of Jesus and what he did, we have the hope of salvation packaged as a free gift for each and every one of us. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. No, that's good news. So, next question, what can I do to be saved? Acts chapter 16 verse 31 says, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Romans chapter 10 Verses 9 to 10 says, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. Will it work for you? Will it work for anybody? Yes. That is why it says in Romans chapter 10 and verse 13, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone, no one is exempted. So if you would like to make that all important decision today for Jesus, I will help you with a short prayer of repentance. If you would like to say this prayer, just repeat it after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am sorry for all of my sins against you. Please have mercy on me. Save me and free me from my sins. Come into my heart along with your Holy Spirit. Wash me and make me whole. Thank you for saving me. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have said that prayer, welcome into the family of God. Continue to seek after God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your body and soul. And please feel free to, to share this video with your friends, uh, uh, with your family. Uh, share it as far and wide as you possibly can. There are no uh, restrictions, absolutely no restrictions on how uh, you can share any of our videos. All we ask is that you help us to reach the loss at all cost. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening. And I'll see you next time, if there is a next time. God wish you bless you and goodbye. Hey, boy, song is jumping on. Hear the father say, God, yeah, it's coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. The rapture is coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Uh -huh.